Hi guys! Welcome to the latest addition to my little collection of silly videos. I am so excited, I can't even tell you. It's just, oh, it's been, it's been months. It's been, it's been two and a half months. The video is finished and I am, I'm just, I'm just so, so excited. I'm so excited. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. It really, really does help my channel. And if you would like to help a little bit more and are able to do so, why not become one of my patrons at patreon.com slash crack in the nutshell. The address is somewhere up there. I've just lost my microphone. It is thanks to all of you who have contributed so far that I am able to actually continue working on this channel. And it will enable me to continue doing videos like this. Not just like this, but of the serious variety as well. A really, really, really spiritual series variety. This video is divided into two parts. You are now watching part one. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy it. Take care and I'll see you soon. Hello everyone, welcome to the wonders of the interwebs. I am Professor Brian Cox and today I'm going to be talking about Schrodinger's equation, the most fundamental equation in quantum mechanics. Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger came up with this equation in 1925 and... <laughs> Brian, I have an important message for you. I want you to know that, although you're not consciously aware of it yet, deep down, very, very deep down, your interest in cosmic consciousness is vast. It is now time to leave Schrodinger's equation aside for a little while, sit, meditate, and learn some ancient wisdom. The wonders of the universe are to be found right inside you, Brian. Cosmic consciousness? This is utter bollocks. You can't possibly be asking me to do this. You nutter. Physics is my life. Don't you dare say a bad word about Schrodinger. He's my hero. Yes, physics is awesome, Brian. And Irving Schrodinger was awesome too. I know very well how much Schrodinger's work has influenced your career. His equation, the quantum wave function, his thoughts on the nature of life, genes, entropy, and of course, let's not forget Schrodinger's beloved cat, simultaneously pushing up daisies as he happily purrs. What an extraordinary man. And pussycat. <clears throat> However, there's a lot more to Schrodinger than meets the eye, Brian. Brian? I am also aware of your profound admiration for Mr. Chopra. All those tender twin exchanges between you two are ever so sweet and amicable. Bugger off, you old fart. Go back behind your cosmic cloud and leave me alone. Knock it off, Brian. Deepak has been trying to teach you about cosmic consciousness for years. I have a question for you. Have you been listening? It's cosmic consciousness. Cosmic consciousness. Cosmic consciousness. Ah, stop it! This is torture. My head is going to explode. <sighs> All this spiritual stuff is nonsense. I'm not changing my mind. Anybody who thinks cosmic consciousness is real is a complete knob end. Oh, shut up, Brian. The moment has come to transcend the boundaries of your comfort zone. However, I understand that finding the time to meditate and gain ancient knowledge may not be an easy task for you. All that time spent smashing particles inside super collider machines, all those hours writing strange equations, befriending giant craps and staring in puppet shows do not leave much time for the study of metaphysics. Or quantum healing, for that matter. But now it's time to face the music. Enough excuses, Brian. Have you totally lost it? This is utter drivel. The diamond-encrusted guru can take his cosmic consciousness and stuff it up his bottom chakra. Shush, 
I've heard enough. As an introduction, I've prepared a special test for you. If you're so confident you can tell the difference between Deepak's drivel and Ervin's intelligent ponderings, then you should pass my test with flying colours. However, there's a catch. You must achieve 90% or more, or else you will be immediately pulverized. Or better, you will be thrown into a black hole so that you can gain first-hand experience on what it truly means to become one with the universe. You are a colossal knob-end. Yes, my dear Brian, I am. And don't forget, with a capital K. Now, please get all your chakras aligned with the zero-point field, and let's get started, shall we? <sighs> yes, I've got it all perfectly aligned, you old duffer. Shush! I will now present you with a series of statements. Your task is to tell me who uttered those words, Deepak or Irvin. And don't you dare cheat, Brian, or call anybody a knob end again, or I'll chop off your own parsley and drop it inside the Hadron Collider. I'd be interested to see what happens to it after it has been accelerated near the speed of light. Oh, what an passing dried up in knob end. My assistants will guide you through the questions. The test starts now! Ah, oh, bollocks. Where's my beer?